in your settings real quick teddy is in the building what's up teddy give me a hell yeah Woo! hell yeah what's up sir how we doing dude what's going on everybody's here get in get in boy. Hey, hey, hey let me see if i can let me see if i can uh if you can maybe throw the camera this way long way because right now it's just doing the vertical oh, okay. Um, let's go land there we go uh, that's uh, perfect that's perfect right there gentlemen if you could please properly introduce yourself let us know um well for those watching we have worldwide viewers where whereabouts in the world you are right now and plug or promote anything you'd like we're band of family from bakersfield california we're uh we're a humble rock band man uh we just like playing music for everybody um we've got all the socials uh youtube uh, we're on Spotify and all the streaming platforms, Band of Family, uh, bandoffamily.com, our website. If you want to look us up, that'll take you everywhere you need to go. Got a badass show lined up this weekend. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we got March a, 19th, yeah. Monte Carlo. Yeah. Here in Same Bakersfield. Hell yeah. We got uh, some sick LA bands coming up. You know, our boys, uh, Bantam Weight and Def Boutique are coming yeah. up. Yeah. Hell yeah. And too. some killer locals. Yeah, yeah. Tall Dark and uh, Wet, Wet Robot. Robot. Hell yeah. Sick bands, bro. Excellent, so excellent. It, it's gonna be a fun show. We're missing we're missing uh one member, I think. Who are we missing? Your bass player is missing. Lucas. Shout out to Lucas. That's the shits. Yeah, he's got the bubbly guts. Yeah, he's got uh, diarrhea. Yeah. yeah. Nothing embarrassing, just diarrhea. <laughs> no worries. Uh let's play some music so people know what you guys sound like. Uh I'm gonna start with America because I think it's the only video that I could find. Is that correct? That's the only music video? No, if you if you click under there and go to our actual page, uh, Band of Families uh, YouTube page, we have a couple music videos and we have a bunch of live content from like uh, whiskey shows and whatnot. Hell yeah! Let's start off with America. But Paul, I want to start uh, with the question for you first. You were were not always a, a, right, you weren't always a singer, correct? You actually started as a drummer, but uh, the band needed some vocals so you 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 own you own the seat right there how did how did that all come about switching and was it hard going from drums to vocals um it is yeah it's hard and i, I still feel like a student of it uh, all the time uh I, uh I, I still love the drums uh but yeah it's a mountain all the time i just try to uh i have taken lessons a few times from a few different people uh, so I recommend anybody that's undertaking, you know, singing to, to uh, pursue that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but it, it's rough. It's hard sometimes because sometimes I don't know what I'm doing wrong or I don't know the uh, the vernacular or the terms for what I'm doing wrong. So I go to ask somebody about it. And whenever I finally explain it, they're like, oh, yeah, that's because your, your larynx diaphragm is out of the phasing. I'm like, oh, OK, well. If I would have known this, I wouldn't have been doing you know five to ten right now. But I didn't know the terms, so now, so now, I'm fucking that's cool that you're that you're anything. open to the, the that the. <laughs> that's cool that you're you're open to the critiques that's though. What I mean by I'm still a student, you know. For sure. So I'm still learning all the time, and I love it. Ted, have you ever tried doing vocals? Bro, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've got I, I did some like vocal covers and stuff in the past, like some Atreyu metalcore shit. You guys should do but a swap. I, you guys should do a swap at a show just for the hell of it. Like right before the last song, <laughs> you should swap and let let Paul sing, drum and and Teddy, you come out and just do like a like a heavy song just to end the set real quick or something. Just, it would just look cool, like visually be like, oh sh they're switching. Yeah, Band of Family doing a Kill Switch cover. Let's do that. Let's do it. No. <laughs> that was crazy. This is America. Hell yeah. Uh, I got to get the generic questions out of the way before we get to some of the fun ones. Who what, Who were the artists <laughs> that, that made you guys want to pick up the guitar, pick up the dr a drum set, and just start playing? Like, Who were who your inspirations when you were younger? You were like, man, I want to do that. I want to learn how to play like he plays. You know? Man, Metallica, '90s stuff, you know. Who was the first? Who was the first answer you said? Who, who was the first answer you said? Who was the? Metallica, of course. Metallica, okay, okay. Metallica, 
Definitely. Of course. What yeah. about? Not to be generic or nothing, but they are guys. <laughs> yeah. Man, being a kid in the '90s, I feel like That's we're so I, blessed yeah. with music, bro. Yeah. Like, it was a it was a dope time for creativity and and growing up and cutting your teeth, being a musician, like learning your instrument, playing along to like Tool and Primus and Alice in Chains and uh, you know all the cool like Pantera. I learned. You know, like all my cool double bass patterns are just rip off of Vinnie Paul and shit. You know, it's all the all the juiciness is out in the '90s, man, and you just bleed all that shit together, and that's a that's what Band of Families music is. It's, right, yeah. it's modern '90s shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you, what would you say, Paul? Uh, for me, uh, whenever I'm not listening to. Oh no! Yeah, Kane's already saying don't say the soul thing. Whenever I'm not listening to soul music, uh, but for me, the, the inspiration that I bring uh, to Bandit Family from growing up and uh, and the music that I loved, it'd be the, like the '90s grunge adjacent. I wouldn't call it grunge, but stuff like Candlebox, Silverchair, The Toadies, uh, Seven Mary Three. Like, there's a lot of '90s bands that have a '90s sound that are not Nirvana. Uh, that I that I really love and personally I still listen to all the time. Silverchair was fire for sure. I really like them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ted, as as yeah, someone that's brilliant. that's sponsored by Soul Tone, correct? Shout out to Soul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how does how does a local band go about getting their first sponsor? Man, uh, you know these. The endorsement stuff is is you just got to get out there and you got to make contacts with people like the guy that i get my drums from through dw i met i met the guy at a jujitsu tournament you know it's uh through ricky rocket of poison coincidentally it was wow. wild ricky rocket from poison is a jujitsu black belt he's an absolute fucking gem of a human being uh he uh introduced me to the uh the DW uh, A&R that was there with him at the jiu-jitsu tournament. And, man, you've got to capitalize on your opportunities. When you meet people, talk to them, ask them questions, and make contacts. And then you just got to bug the shit out of them, you know? Like, you've got to send them all your content and let them know that you're serious because that's what you're doing is it's a partnership. And, you know, they're, you know, Soul Tone, I don't get anything for free. I still have to pay for stuff, but you get – you get discounts and they, you know, you get social media stuff and you can go and record videos and you have access to like going to NAM and stuff like that. Um, so your level of endorsement, like that, that's kind of, I'm glad you brought that up, but it, it's, that's a cloudy area. You know, some people can get shit for free and some people have to pay, you know, it depends on how big of an artist you are. Cause it's how many people and how many eyes can you bring to that company is what's going to pay you back for for your endorsement because it's they're not sponsoring you you're endorsing them yeah that's that's you good know, advice too because i think a lot of a lot of bands don't know where to start yet. i think a lot of bands don't know where to start regarding like oh i i should you know i only use this company's guitar or this this these picks or these strings like but i don't know how to go about getting a sponsor and you just got to hit people up and, and bug them, like you said, and say, I want some attention. I got some stuff to show you. It's worth it. Here's why. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, maybe you get a discount. It's all worth it, though, in the end. Um, Dude, it's 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 all about the hustle, bro. Really. Let's talk about... Yeah, get, in the, get in the DM, man. Talk to people. Find their email. You know, you've got to kind of be relentless. Definitely. Let's talk about habit. What does what does habit mean as far as from a lyrical perspective, Paul? Uh, habit. About all the bullshit that we all do in love. Cause it's basically about do my it iPhone. Know. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like uh, it's like you know it's like the cigarette smoker that loves the cigarette and, and hates the dirty habit of smoking. You know, it's like me with single that. use plastics. I'm like, oh, the oceans are dirty, and I'm like downing my single use plastics by the fucking truckload. Uh, it's just about the nasty, dirty habits that it takes just to live and uh, and be a piece of shit in modern society. Well, don't be a piece of shit. <laughs> so there we you know, go. I don't want to be a downer, but you know that's what it's about. <laughs> what what hockey rig is this? That's uh the, that's the uh 
the Bakersfield Ice Sports Center, like where our local muni get to play uh, beer league hockey, bro. Yeah, that's like the practice spot. We have a legit rink here too where the Condors play. <laughs> was it was it like slippery? Standing on the, the ice when you guys record the video? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you just kind of grip with your toes. We were all wearing chucks. It really wasn't that bad. The drum, the rubber on the drum slid around pretty bad, though. Let's do some trivia here in a second. And if you guys are down, we'll review some bands together. We'll still play some more of your music here in a minute. But as as a band, let's, put, let's pretend hypothetically you have to go cross country from California to Florida and... Uh, for some reason, you've decided you're only going to watch one franchise, but this franchise, you can all agree on it. You know the most about it. Star Wars, Harry Potter, Simpsons, anything. What do you guys feel like you know the most about as a band? I'm going to base my trivia off of that. Yeah, damn. It's a damn. Good one. damn. Okay. <laughs> that is really good. I'll give you a second to discuss. We're going to play a band in the background real quick. We're going to play. We're going to play Carson Gray. You guys think about it. If you if you get the uh, the trivia correct, we'll give you the wheel spin. Otherwise, chat might beat you. But you, it's three against chat, so you guys should be able to, to what take about them out. John Wick? Can we do the John Wick trilogy? Uh, you'll be on your own there. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. No. <laughs> Liberside. Let's do Lord of the Rings. Uh, no, no. no. What do you guys think of this band, Liberside? Dude, they're sick, bro. Dude, that is really good. Fuck. I thought they were cool too. Liberside. Yeah, they're good. I'm gonna put them in. Oh. Libricide. Where are they that, from? Uh, let's see. Whoops, didn't mean, didn't mean to click that. They are uh, from New York. New York, dude. Libricide oh. out of New York, fellas. I'm digging that New York band Varsity right now, bro. That's oh like yeah. Varsity has agreed Metalcore with like the Michael Jackson. Yeah, is cool. Varsity has agreed to come on the show, and they're signed to to Spine Shank Records, I believe. And Spine Shank never got back to us, um, but they've verbally oh, said dude, they'd, they'd be sick, down to get on the show like many times. And they toured, we toured yeah, with a bunch yeah. of friends of ours, like Dropout Kings, blah blah blah. So it'll probably yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, we almost played on that show. Dang, that would have been a fun one. Um, yeah, that would have been really good. Regarding Star Wars. Attack, attack of the clones. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, let's, let's, yeah. Here we go. Who orders Zam, Zam Wessel to kill Padme after the failed assassination? Who orders Zam Wessel to kill Padme after the failed assassination? Senator Palpatine. That is not correct. Mm. Ah, ah. We'll give you guys another guess because there's three of you. Shit. If, I, I can't even think of a hint. If I gave you a hint, it would, give it, a, it would give it away. We'll see if chat can get it real quick. It was Spine Farm nice Records, but No, that is not correct either. No. Ah, not the Viceroy. The answer we were looking for was Django Fett. Django Fett God, tells man. Zam to kill Padme. He hands her he hands her a poisonous centipede like animals to do the job. That's what it says. A poisonous centipede like animal. Something like that. Um, no. comes in and he lightsabers him off the bed. All let's right. see let's see what the bro, wheel you know, would have given you had you baby, won. Bro, you gotta give us like the, the the Star Wars, Return of the Jedi. Okay, Empire I'll give you. We'll give you a redemption. We'll, we'll give you a redemption. Don't worry. <laughs> this is Last of the Sane, Drowning in Noise was the name of that one. Uh, so it is going to be Dude, returned. Are you getting some like kind of Dillinger vibes there, bro? Uh, maybe a little bit. I don't. Man, I don't hear that too often. Dillinger Escape Plan. I don't hear that mentioned that often anymore. Miss those guys. Oh, that's a shame, dude. They're amazing. Yeah, they are. Uh, your question, your Star Wars Redemption question is as follows. How old does Yoda say he is in Return of the Jedi? Yeah. What is he, 600? 900? 900 is correct. Yeah. 
you guys get the next spin, but really quick, I think one time at a uh, at the Whiskey Barrel, you guys had were gifted a gift certificate to Cali Care Group, of which I believe okay. you used it for CBD because you're not as big as weed smokers as I am, and that's okay. They have plenty of CBD products. I love my weed.com with more than 10 or 11, I think it's uh, 11 now, uh, delivery services all over Southern California. Cali Care Group, let them provide you your meds. I love my weed.com. I love it. 900 was correct. Let's see what we got. After. Punishment. What was it like? Uh, was this your guys' first time ever playing, like, as individual members, like, not necessarily as band of family, playing the whiskey? Playing the whiskey for the first time? Mm -hmm. My first time playing the whiskey was 20 years ago. Really? Uh, what What project? It was, uh, a, like, a new metal band from Bakersfield called Biotica. And we played with One Side Zero, and uh, which is now like the guys from Center Shift, right? And uh, what was the name of the band? It was Marcos Curiel from P.O.D.'s other band. Uh, I want to say they were like Accident Experiment or something, but dude, the place was packed. It was the early 2000s. People were fucking vibing. It was a dope night, dude. That sounds cool. Uh, yeah. Paul, was that your first time ever playing the whiskey? Was th this particular video? Um, no, not no, that. not that particular. But that might be our third time. But my first time playing the whiskey was uh, with this band. But I'm wearing I'm wearing a Bakersfield Sound Co shirt with the sleeves cut off, and I didn't have this belly that I got right here. <laughs> I was a little better looking, I believe. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, but this one worked. This is a good video too. What about same same question for you, sir? Same, bro. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I think this is my second third time, also. Yo, don't eat, don't eat Oreos and hot jam together. It's no good. Just just advice. No, that doesn't sound that doesn't good. Sound good. Yeah. Just advice. That's that's one of the torture things on the wheel. Um, fellas, are any of you guys gamers? played the new Halo Infinite uh, one and a half <laughs> times on the campaign mode. Uh, <laughs> normal normal was kind of hard, so I went. I started the game over and went through on easy. And then I beat it one and a half times on Halo. One and a half. One and a half times. <laughs> I, have played, I have played the Gears of War franchise. Was that a half a time uh, too? Did you go half through that? No, I played them all the way. Was no half. <laughs> um, all right. I'm the resident gamer. <laughs> And, I'm, and, I'm, and I know, know, but this guy likes flight simulators. Yeah, bro. He told us about simulators. that. I was like, holy shit, that blew my mind. I fly DCS world, bro. It's dope with my Oculus and like I'm like fucking Maverick and Goose, bro. It's sick. Hell yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, what is it, Ghost Rider? That's a negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> That's a negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> oh, Doom! I played Doom. I played all the Doom. That's right. Forgot about that. You're a gamer, bro. Doom, Doom. Yeah, you're a fucking, you're hardcore. A fucking I'm a hardcore gamer. Hardcore gamer. You're a fucking gamer. Yeah, played like three franchises. We will. We will we're gonna something else I missed. We'll end on pay to play. But what can we expect from you guys uh, the rest of 2022? As far as maybe some other upcoming gigs or just whatever you can tell us that's coming up for the band. Uh, go to the website because we have like five or six gigs in the next like, three to four months. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We, no, like seven. Like we, seven, yeah. Plug, yeah, plug the Saturday. website. Plug the website. Plug the website. So Bandfamily.com, Bandfamily.com, and then we have uh, all the social medias. Band of Family, uh, uh, March nineteenth, this weekend in Bakersfield. It's gonna be fucking a raging. Band and Wade, 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 and Jeff Boutique band, are coming up. Yeah. They're like co-headlining it, and then we have three Bakersfield support bands. We're gonna be there, mixed in the middle. Tall, dark, wet robots, fucking awesome! They actually did a live stream with Bakersfield Soundcon a, a, a while back, and that was really good. So I'm excited to have them. Excited for everybody, but go to bandandfamily.com, bandandfamily.com, because with the the calendar is packed, and I'm pretty sure it's up to date with all of the events on there, and a lot of them are free. So I don't want to hear nothing about gas money whenever I come begging you to buy a shirt. Okay? We don't want to hear it. In the bathroom. Trying to go to the bathroom. All right. <laughs> we don't want to hear it. We're gonna leave Thank you guys. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh yeah. Pay, pay to play, and then we'll we'll send you out with one final question. Hang out with Band of Family, by the way, guys. If you're feeling it, please hit the follow button. Slap that mother... And hit the follow button, please. That would be awesome. My final question is, 
you guys just played in, in front of 5,000 people, and it's time to party backstage. Who is the last man standing after all the beers, shots, and celebrations? Me. Yeah, no, he's right. He owns that one. You got it. You got it. He said, I got you. He'll leave. You'll think he's going back to his room, and then you'll find him on a sea barge on the fucking coast three days later thinking, I thought he went to his room. And no, he went went to party level five without you. Hell yeah. yeah. (laughs) That's why he was so quick to be like, me. Yeah. 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 It's a VIP over here. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're hanging out with band of family. Fellas, this is a lot of fun. I appreciate you stopping by, hanging out for a little while. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. BG, we love you, man. I love you guys. Awesome live band right there. Thank you for everything you do for fucking local bands and all the events you throw and the stream, bro, because without people like you, the shit, we just be fucking off in the garage, bro. Like, we get out, we get to make friends, we play shows, you know, we get to have our content put out by rad people like you and... Dude, it's uh, it's a fucking honor, dude. I appreciate you so much. You're the man. Thank you. Thank you guys for the kind words. I appreciate it. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, band of family. Hell yeah! Fellas, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe and uh, have some kick-ass shows coming up, man. Cheers.